Some students in Minneapolis are getting an up close lesson all about bees. Loring Community Elementary School is the first in Minneapolis to have beehives right on site. Our Molly Rosenblatt got the chance to see what they're doing with them. That video looks fantastic. How cool for the kids. Yeah, it really is. It's a great idea and it's a really uh, fun way to get students out of the classroom and get a hands on lesson about how important bees are to our environment. So these days it's pretty hard to be a bee. A short review for this eager group of third graders before getting up close and personal. What do bees eat again? Honey. Oh, they make honey from flowers and they gather pollen. Aaron Rupp, founder of Pollinate Minnesota, provided the hives, bees, and all the resources for the program. How many types of honeybees in a hive? Drones we might not see very many of today. If we're so lucky, we'll see the queen. We'll definitely see a lot of workers. We'll also see some life cycle stages. And finally, the kiddos get to suit up. <laughs> Guess who else is on here? The queen. Do you see her? Yeah. Oh, the queen. <laughs> Nothing like a queen to get kids excited about bees. It's like a treasure hunt. There's the queen. It's right there. And now I see the queen. the queen. How cool is that? Cool. How can you tell it's the queen? Because it has a bald spot on it in its middle part by its head. What do you like most about this? What I like is to the experience of holding it and looking directly at it and getting close to it. The lessons on these bees focus on pollinators and their importance to the environment, plant life cycles, as well as the food we eat. And bees are having a hard time and so to help bees we can plant more flowers and keep those spaces free of insecticides. And if the bees make enough honey this year, the school will eventually provide it in their cafeteria. That's well, a pretty cool thing, yeah. though. Yeah. It really is neat. What a great and way to learn. lesson, too. And they were so excited. Yes, yeah, it was a little surprise. <laughs> they were very eager to get in there with the bees. And I don't think anybody was scared or, or you know, upset about yeah. being around so many bees. Well, it beats the classroom, yeah. right?